morning, TGIT. It's another big day on the WGN Morning News at 9. Today, she calls herself an unapologetic spinster. We'll talk to the author of a new book full of true modern dating stories about what she and everyone else can learn. Plus, in the botanic backyard, ideas for gardening projects you can work on with others. Perfect for spring. And in the list, Larry is sharing how to accelerate intimacy. Oh, my. <laughs> Live from the WGN studios, this is the WGN Morning News at 9. I don't know if I want this list. Yeah. What, what are you doing? It's dealing? not my specific list. You'll, you'll see, listen, you're going to be a newlywed. You need this more than <laughs> anyone. That's true. Well, mm -hmm. I'm looking out, Larry. I'm sorry, Thank Larry, you. I just threw up in my mouth. <laughs> you not? Uh, are you? List. <laughs> Ooh, I'm interested to see what kind of tips Larry has, right. Mike. <laughs> Good morning, yeah. you guys. Uh, I have a little something for you for Throwback Thursday. I'm going to read a caption of a picture first, and then I'm going to show you the picture. It says, I miss the days when we didn't know. We don't have it? Oh, all right. Maybe we can bring it back later. Come on, Mike. Get it what? together. Yeah, it's my What's fault. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely you suck my fault. to yeah, me. It's my fault. It's all my fault. All right, maybe we can find it later. Mike, at WGN, you're supposed to blame somebody else. Yeah, well, I, I realize that. He's too nice. <laughs> All right, All time right. for the night at nine. Here we go. We watch your new show because it's very sublime. I'm so excited because it really is time for nine at nine. Nine, 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 nine. So tell us what's new, now let me throw you a cue, it's nine and nine. All right, number nine, who does it long for the days of the cool conversion van? <laughs> what's up, nerds? Wow. Well, it may be a surprise that Mercedes is the one to bring back the van with the sweet interior for their new line of electric vans due in 2026. Mercedes will have some with den-like interiors finished with wood and comfy chairs. They plan to offer vans that can be tailor-made, so if you have a business, they can make it simple. If you like camping, they can help with that. And if you like to keep the van a-rockin', well, they can help with that, too. Some used to call them shagging wagons. <laughs> oh These my. were so big back in the day. There was even a low-budget teen movie in 1977 called The Van about a guy who graduates from high school, and instead of getting a job, he hits the road in a bachelor pad on wheels. Uh, is that one of your accelerating uh, Is that why you're making that tests? van, Ray? You and Mrs. Yeah. Moffat going to tour yeah. the country? Did, did you paint like a Viking on the side, or is it like a Scottish warrior? Or, yeah, <laughs> Rob Ray or something. Yeah, good. Yeah, all right, well, that's great. <laughs> all right, number eight, it's called the most grueling race in the world, the Yukon 1000. Competitors will travel 1,000 miles down the Yukon River in a canoe. It starts in Canada and finishes in Alaska. They will be forced to paddle 18 hours a day, and that's just to get through it. If you want to win, you'll have to be faster than that. They'll battle dangerous rapids, navigate through narrow channels, and do their best to avoid hungry bears in the Alaskan and Canadian wilderness. Uh, there are three divisions, canoe, kayak, or stand-up paddle boarding. Mm. Racers compete in teams of two. They must stop at various checkpoints along the way so that organizers can make sure they're okay. If they don't stop, they're disqualified. They have nine days and 18 hours to complete the course. The winner gets bragging rights. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, number seven. These are some amazing photos by William Legulon. They are clothes worn by people who were struck by lightning. Oh, my. Whoa. Lightning's responsible for more than 4,000 deaths worldwide annually, but of every 10 people who are hit, nine of them survive. When lightning, I'm sorry, when someone is hit by lightning, it happens so fast that only a very tiny amount of electricity oh. ricochets through the body. Oh, boy. As it travels around the outside of the body, tiny amounts of water and sweat can lead to little explosions on the clothes. Oh. Wow. What's happened to the belt? That doesn't look bad. Yeah, that stood up pretty well. Huh? Wow. Let's get the, let's get the brand on that. Yeah. Wow. 
Yikes. All right, number six, the folks at Allure Bridal are teaming up with Shonda Rhimes Production Company to create a new Bridgerton Bridal collection. The designs are inspired by the character Queen Charlotte. They also released some sketches of the gowns as designed by the show's head costume designer, Lynn Paolo. There will be three dresses in all. They'll range from $1,600 to $3,000 and are set to debut in December. Have you watched Queen Charlotte yet? I have not. Oh, you Sorry. don't watch any yeah. of that. Oh, it's good. It's good. That would have been a good, you know, we could have done a, you know, movie yeah. night, but, sure. you know, you won't let you me pass the moat. They won't let us have movie night at Larry's house. We can house flip back and forth between the NBA conference finals and <laughs> Miss Charlotte. You've got two TVs in there. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Come on. Yeah. Uh, number five, this is a tweet from art historian Isabella Rosner. Uh, I've come across a lot of good 17th and 18th century Quaker names over the past three and a half years as I've worked on my thesis. Now that my thesis is done and submission is near, it's time to share the more than 90 wildest early Quaker names I've found. Quick explanation, Quakers often chose names as a way to get away from traditional Anglican and Catholic names, so they made up their own. Here are a few from the list. Broadbank Plant, Charity Jolly, Charity Nut, Comfort Cripes, Temperance Poor, Patience Fish, Job Bland, and Elizabeth Poop. Come on, Larry. That's not appropriate for a morning news show. Thanks to Elizabeth Rosner. Her podcast sounds very dry, <laughs> but it's quite interesting. It's all about historic needlework Ooh. and those who stitch it. It's called So What? Oh, I like, I like <laughs> that. I like that. I love it. Love the puns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, number four. Uh, the spotted lanternfly is coming. It may look beautiful, but don't be lured in. This creature is dangerous. Oh, jeez. Uh, the insect loves to feast on crops, causing millions of dollars in damage for farmers across America. And guess who's helping spread them across the country? You guessed it, humans. Spotted lanternflies like to hitch rides on cars and trucks, they lay their eggs in clumps of 30 on Ugh. any surface they can find. They are so dangerous to trees and plants that insect scientists suggest destroying them immediately. They're no threat to humans. They won't hurt you, just the crops. Well, are they mm. found anywhere in particular? Do they miss that part? I don't know. Well, I wasn't really paying well, attention. Listen, if they're hitchhiking, <laughs> they, they could reading. be anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Up and down Route 66. Sorry, I wasn't really. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't really all in we on that really either. Um, but it, it says um, across America, okay. so not really go. America. Really yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure there's more information on that. Yeah. yeah. Number three, take a good look at these boots. They're made from mushrooms. Researchers recently created leather made leather made from mycelium or the root of a mushroom. Mycelium mm. is known to have healing properties and may one day be used to make all sorts of products from clothing to furniture. Don't count on it just yet. These are very thin and fragile. The minute you put them on, they would likely tear or break. Oh, that's uh, no good. Yeah, but they look nice. The goal is to continue to refine the mushroom skin and make uh, it stronger. Okay. All right, number two, some people probably know about this, but it will be a great public service to those who don't. When you get a movie theater popcorn, Here's a good way to get the butter to the bottom oh, of the this bag. Is great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Straw. You put a straw yep. right up to the butter dispenser, angle it toward the lower areas of the popcorn. Are you kidding? Really? Yeah, but a lot do of them don't let you time. do your own butter anymore in the yeah. city, right? Because since COVID, they want to do the butter themselves. Uh. Which really. They're just trying to save, yeah. save money and butter. And is it really is butter? Think? It's, it's not butter, but it's matter. delicious, Larry. It That's my point. Uh, you don't get the popcorn if you don't want it's that. It's like you're a joy slayer. Yeah. I mean, and really, that's just, it's <laughs> just joy slayer. I mean, to me, do you oh. see this guy going to the movies, though, to be no. with? No. And having movie popcorn? No. Is that what makes you joyful? Chemically reproduced yes. Yes. butter? Yes. Delicious. Delicious. It is. Is there Larry, I gotta, I gotta side with them on this one. You Thank don't know what you. you're missing. What do you, if you do go to the movies, do you eat a snack there? Well, I like baby carrots. Those are, <laughs> they give me the crunch <laughs> and the sweet that I so desperately want during a film. That's all you um, need. Bottle of water, maybe. <sighs> one time I brought in a package of bean sprouts. Those were, I just, uh, yeah. they were delicious. Oh, yeah. God. These movies are like three hours now. You gotta uh, eat something, right? A sniffer of mineral water. <laughs> All right, oh, number one. Larry. This clip will definitely make your day. It comes from the Hyper Kids Africa. They live together in an orphanage in Uganda. Mm -hmm.
Wow. to Hyper Kids Africa, check out DonorBox.org. They say the money helps them buy their own property and build their own facilities and mm. dormitories. Hyper Kids Africa, that's pretty cool. Awesome. They have like 20 million followers on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, really? I hope uh, they 